Hi guys, what's up? Rob here. And today I'm going to be doing a review on Record of the Lotus War. I chose this anime because it's that good of an anime. It even holds up today, and it inspired the whole genre of representing RPGs and uh, Dungeons and Dragons kind of representation in anime. So the first thing you can see by the cover of the anime, you could kind of see the elf girl on top. And you can see all the characters. I can't remember all their names off the top of my head. The elf girl is named Deedlet, and the knight at the bottom is named Parn. They're two of the main characters, but also just like this anime kind of shows like all the different classes that are in RPGs. like. The guy in the red represents the thief. The guy with the brown cloak is a mage. The little guy on the bottom is a dwarf. Hence why he's uh, kind of smaller but stocky. Built very strong but short. And uh, the priest. You can see the priest in the corner with the white cloak. I guess I would say that the dwarf is a warrior class, or maybe like a berserker. So as you can see in the picture, this anime revolves basically around mostly two main characters, which are Parn and Deedlet. Parn is a knight who just kind of serves the king and tries to defend the kingdom. And as you can see, Dee Lit is an elf who uses magic and a sword. And her appearance kind of looks a lot like how, you know, the, the tunic that she wears is kind of, it kind of resembles what Link wears because it's, it's basically green and it's a tunic. So you can see from there, like, this anime influenced Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time later on. I mean, this anime came out in 1991 and Ocarina of Time came out in 1999. So you're going to see the other resemblances with this anime and Ocarina of Time later on in the video. So basically, the plot of the anime is Parn and Deedlet and all of Parn's friends have to protect the light side of the kingdom because there are two sides of the kingdom. There's a dark kingdom and there's a light kingdom. So I guess there's two kingdoms really. And Parn is on the light side of the kingdom and he and Deedlet have to protect it because sometimes the dark part of the kingdom tries to invade, you know. And, uh, So we move on. What this anime does so well lies in its antagonists. They each have different desires. You can see the witch in the background named Cardis, who promises to help Beld. She has her own motive. And you can see Wagnard, the wizard, in that scene. And Beld's other right hand man who's named Ashura, they each have their own idea on what they want to happen to Lotos. So let's move on. So I'm not a fan of making like very long reviews, but you can see there's the Dark Elf character. You know, there's that RPG concept of the regular elves versus the Dark Elves. And uh, if you notice Beld, he looks a lot like Ganondorf, you know, the guy with the red hair in the last scene in the dark armor. And, you know, this anime could have influenced Ganondorf's design. Anyways, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoy the anime and check it out. It's good. Enjoy it. Check it out.